YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We are at day number one of the 31st annual Corvette Lone Star Classic. Let's go inside and see what they got going on. Okay, so with so many cool vets here, I figured, could we find a C1 all the way through C8? Let's take a look at these vets and see if we can check off that list. I'm here with Bruce in his 1961 283, slightly breathed on, C1 Corvette. He's going to tell us a little bit about the build. So, uh, what was your inspiration behind this build, Bruce? Well, this is, it's really an uh, original. It's still the original engine and suspension. I just put the bling on top of the side pipes and hood scoop just to make it different for me. I'm an, I'm an ex-Harley, or actually I still have them. Harley guys, as soon as they get the bike, they change it to make it their own. Well, that guys now, usually I don't want to change anything. They're, not, they're a different breed of people. But I'm still, this okay, is Harley ready? influence. I want to make it so that anybody that sees that car, it, they know it's my car. Gotcha. So I, I just changed the bling on top, but I ought to cross this car a lot. And it still has the original engine, original solid axle rear end, manual steering, and all that stuff. What do they call this color? It, it, that's a custom color. Originally, it was jewel blue, which is a sky blue. All right. But the blue didn't pop out enough, so I changed it. Kept making it darker until the white and the chrome popped out. Yeah, up. and I'm noticing a lot of flake. A lot of metal flakes. I, I like how the flake plays off the chrome. Right. That's an awesome look. When this car is parked in the sun, it pops. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, it, and I changed other things. Like, normally, there would have been a, a chrome drill for a chrome bar that went across here. But I wanted a dark AC Cobra look to it. Well, right when you look at it, you get the competition feel. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Whether it was an AC Cobra or anything else out on the track in the late 60s, this definitely looks like this would be a contender. And I also noticed you added the roll bar. Yes, that's uh, it's mainly just for folks. Uh, a lot of crossing. Side pipes and, and the hood scoop are not really adding any power or anything. It is for looks too. Right. So right. I wanted to look awesome. I've had it for 40 years. I'll never sell it. And so I don't worry about changing anything. If I like it, I'll do it. And the, the wheels are a bit for old uh, knockoff. Yeah. Right. Now help me out. This would have been a three speed, right? Uh, yes, originally it was, was a six speed on that. And uh, I did change the transmission. transmission but I know this sounds strange but my wife and my German Shepherd when they were both in there with me I didn't have room to shift so I changed to us another automatic for my wife and my German Shepherd. You know Bruce it always comes down to the wife and the dog doesn't yeah. it? Those are the two things that wind up mattering the most. Now would it have originally had the white interior? No they never had white interior it had pure blue interior just like the exterior. Gotcha. But again, I wanted, I like a little bling, you know, and I wanted to pop. So that was all custom done. There was no kits in this and all the side pipes and stuff, the hood scoop. It was custom done and I helped the guy do it, but that's all from scratch. It's all from raw material that he hand did this on a sewing machine in his bedroom. Wow. Now the originals had heat pressed in seams, big seams. This is all sewn. Bruce is going to go ahead and pop that hood for us and see what's going on. Now, I, again, I blinged up the engine, but it's still the 283. 
and I had to put a fuel injection unit on it because I kept dying in hard turns, aggressive turns. The carburetor just couldn't handle it. Couldn't push that fuel. No, it would starve one side and flood the other side. And it, Gravity and I, is a pain in the ass. I tried all kinds of modifications, nothing worked, and I said, heck with it, I put a fuel injection unit on it, and that solved the problem. Looks great. But I try to keep the car original to the 60s. Not original parts, but original to the 60s, you know, era, early 60s. So I wanted to, to modify it the way somebody would have done in early 60s instead of doing it now. Don't grab that steering wheel. Don't grab anything else. Yeah. You're pretty tall, so... I'm, I'm assuming this doesn't tilt, does it? No, it doesn't tilt, and the, the seats are fixed. <laughs> so, you're... You're you're out of luck. <laughs> yeah. Does your fault your your legs retract? No 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 no. <laughs> okay. God, you are the crumple zone in this car. <laughs> Jesus, God Almighty. Tuck you tuck in. Not breathe it. Tuck it in. Yeah, tuck it in. And those are actual kills the four major u.s manufacturers and then for the foreign countries i'm going to run out of space on the japanese so. <laughs> all right bruce was awesome enough to show us his 1961 blue custom flake c1 corvette and it is off the chain awesome he's going to join us on the track later thank you so much bruce. thank you sir are you going to help me stage or I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.